This is a gross specimen of a real human brain at the level of the diencephalon and part of the brainstem. And we can see uh, the pons right here. And this area would be the, the pons tegmentum area right here. And just above the pons, we're going to see the midbrain. The midbrain would be pretty much that section right there. And the midbrain contains several different structures. This structure right here is the decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncles. And the superior cerebellar peduncles are the main output route of the cerebellum. And we can see some of the vermis of the cerebellum right here. And a little bit right down here. And this is the tectum right here. And the tectum contains two very important structures. We have the inferior colliculus and the superior colliculus. The inferior colliculus is used for sound modulation and mapping of the auditory environment. And the superior colliculus is involved in visual reflexes and tracking objects. And this structure right here is the posterior commissure, which is a bundle of fibers connecting the hemispheres. And this is the pineal gland right here. And this entire area right here is the thalamus, which this area also is called the diencephalon. And right here we have the intrathalamic adhesion, which connects both sides of the thalamus. Okay, and then right here, this little space is called the cerebral aqueduct, and it connects the fourth ventricle, which is this area right here, and this actually extends down. And the cerebral aqueduct, aqueduct connects the third ventricle, which would be everything right here, to the fourth ventricle, in which choroid plexus, which is located in various areas, is responsible for creating CSF, cerebral spinal fluid. Okay. Moving on, we have the mammillary bodies right here which the mammillary bodies are a part of the limbic system involved in learning and this is where the fornix would be connecting right here and we can also see a little bit of the fornix right up here this is the anterior commissure the anterior commissure is a bundle of white fibers connecting the hemispheres and this area right here is the hypothalamus. Okay. And then we have the optic chiasm right here. We also have the optic nerve right here, which is cranial nerve 2. And we can also see the ocular motor nerve right here, which is cranial nerve 3. And just above the ocular motor nerve in this area right here would be the cerebral peduncles. Alrighty, let's see what else we have here. We can see the corpus callosum right here. And this is the anterior communicating artery right here. And this guy right here is the septal vein. And it looks like those are the main general structures in which I'm going to point out in this tutorial.